G'day YouTube, this is just a quick overview of the new Linux Mint uh, Kiana operating system that's come out recently. So I'm just going over some of the new features basically of Linux Mint 17, which is what it is. So uh, let's see, so starting off, uh, the most probably the most important change is the upgrade to Cinnamon 2.2, as you can see right here. Now I'm still not going to say there's a great deal of changes, but I'll get into the changes one by one. So for example, the update manager has been cleaned up a little bit. You don't have to like log in or put your password in really as much to get in there. You don't have to be connected to actually use some of the features. It's also got a more of an integrated history updates as uh, as we've all been told too. So that's really interesting to see. It pulls from everywhere in the system, not just from the update manager. Now let's see. Moving on, we also have uh, some more stuff with. Probably my favorite feature actually about uh, Cinnamon 2.2 is the hot snapping window. So I've just created a window here a moment ago. And if you see these sort of hot snapping corners, you'll just flick to the side and it will show you where it's going to go. So you can put it down to the bottom. It, it really sort of quarters up the, uh, the actual screen. So you can see where it's going to go, high or low. And that's really cool. That's something that uh, Ubuntu actually doesn't have. So I think that's actually quite cool. And you can go left and right as well, which is something that Ubuntu does have. But it's just that little bit more of functionality I think is uh, really quite cool. So moving on, there there is some changes with like the, the power management and the uh, and the the screensaver settings and things, just to make it a little bit more clearly defined what it does. But it, it's nothing really worth mentioning so much. I would have to say, there's a new welcome screen is too a little bit updated, but um, there's yeah, I, I suppose I could go on all for the next five minutes talking about really nerdy things, but in this case, I probably just won't now. As I mentioned, the update manager's a little bit changed. The uh, it's it's a little bit more refined with cinnamon, but um, I'm just talking on the fly with this one. I I can't really uh, think of anything too amazingly. There's more like it, it's not really a revolutionary change. Linux Mint 17. I'd say it's more of a sort of an evolutionary one where you they've just cleaned it up a little bit. You'll you'll also find the uh, I think it's called the uh, the lock screen has been updated a little bit nicer too. You'll find uh, some new uh, you know background pictures and things too, as you can expect to see with all sorts of uh, new releases of Linuxes. So just let that puppy load up there. But that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see, what else can I think to say about it? Let's see, the the time and date settings have been changed a little bit. They've been modified to be a little bit more clear in what they do. There's a... An old module was brought back, something to do with the policy kit for system-wide uh, date and time settings. But um, again, not that too exciting. So I don't, don't really want to do this video a disservice by really just yabbering on a bit more. But all in all, I'd say uh, it's it's a pretty cool release. It it does what it's supposed to do. I find that it's quite stable, which is probably one of the main features that are important to me. And uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. So uh, please leave a comment. Please yeah, leave a comment saying what you particularly like as a feature about the new Linux Mint 17. And uh, please subscribe. And yeah, thanks for your time. Cheers, guys.